Hello everyone. Welcome to new video from Not Real Engineering. And again today we are going to learn something new. If you are a long time subscriber of this channel, then you might probably know that one of the main focus of this channel is crystal plasticity simulations. And I have many videos dedicated to crystal plasticity on this channel. We already saw how to do crystal plasticity simulations using softwares such as Abacus, Damask, Moods, and Warp 3D. But there is a new software which is extremely powerful to perform crystal plasticity simulations and its name is FEPX also known as finite element polycrystal plasticity and in today's video i am going to give you a brief introduction about this new software and we will see how to install it this software FEPX it's currently maintained and developed by advanced computational materials engineering laboratory at university of alabama and a really cool part about this software is it is napers companion program Napier is one of my no doubt favorite software to create digital microstructure and i have many tutorials about napier as well separately and many time we want to use microstructure created by napier to do some simulations so we will import the napier's microstructure in damask or abacus or something like that and doing that has some challenges but in this software it is very easy napier's output meshes can be readily used by this fepx simulation software and whatever output results are produced those output results can be processed and visualized again using napier so in short it is like you can use napier for pre processing and post processing and this software will just be a solver these are few things i listed out what this software can do so first is non linear kinematics effect of large deformations are considered next is anisotropic elasticity depending on your crystal structure if it is a bcc fcc or hcp you can define an isotropic elasticity tensor of course it can do crystal plasticity that is the main aim of this software you can say this software can also handle multi phase polycrystals that means you can combine the grains with different crystal structure you can have some fcc grains some hcp grains and even some bcc grains in a single polycrystal and still this software will able to perform the simulation software has parallel implementation using mpi and you get a wide array of output results such as stress strain deformation grain orientation and many more things now i don't have this software installed on my computer now so we'll go to its website and i will show you a step by step process how to install this software we are going to download the source code of this software and we will compile the software by ourselves this is the website of this software let's go on this website first this is the home page of fepx and i am going to use version 1.1.1 which is the latest version when i am recording this video this slide just summarizes the installation process of this software i will be using version 1.1.1 now we have to install napier in order to do pre processing and post processing therefore if you don't have napier already installed you have to install it first if you already have napier and if you are using it then you can just skip first three steps and directly start from the step 4 but if you don't have napier then you have to start from the step 1 first it's to install ubuntu app because this software will not run on windows and if your computer is windows and you are trying to run this software on windows you have to install ubuntu app on windows i have a separate video explaining how to do it please check that video if you are not aware of it and if you have linux computer then you can start with step 2 which is to install gmesh again i have a separate video about how to install gmesh and finally you have to install napier that also i have a separate video on this channel installing gmesh and napier is not that straight forward so please check out that video carefully and do it every step and once you have installed napier and it is working fine then first you have to download fepx source code and then install it using these commands so let's download the source code first from their website again on the website you can go in this download tab and you can download the source code from here also you can download the documentation which is given over here i wanted to point out over here this documentation is very well written and you can find all the installation steps which i am going to tell you in this documentation as well so if you are using some new version of this software far far away in the future and if you cannot install using the steps shown in this video maybe you should go and check in the documentation if steps are changed or not anyway once you download the source code just copy paste it in some folder 
I kept the source code in one folder called FEPX in C drive. Then you can extract it. And then you can see this FEPX folder. In this you can find the source code. Now to compile it, you have to use Ubuntu app. This is Ubuntu app on left side and on right side, I am in FEPX folder. Now first we have to go into this FEPX folder. For that first you have to mount the C drive and then go into that FEPX folder. In FEPX folder again go into this FEPX slash 1.1.1 folder and now you just have to follow these six steps. First go into SRC folder. Let me keep this open over here. So first go into SRC folder then create one folder called build. Once build folder is created go into that build folder. Once you are in this build folder you have to type cmake space dot dot. Then build files will get created and after this you have to type mac. And this will compile the source code. It will take some time. I guess it's time to put my favorite meme. A few moments later. Compilation is done. And finally, sudo mac install. Done. And just to check if it is installed correctly or not, type fepx. And it's a success. Version 1.1.1. Now that's it for this video. In part two, we will see how to run a basic example with FEPX software. Meanwhile, if you have any comments or question, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please show your support by subscribing to this channel, which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these. You can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together. For example, let's say if you are interested in ANSYS tutorials, you can go to this ANSYS tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist. All the codes and files which I use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's GitHub profile. The link of this profile is given in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.